Me and my bra, we've got issues. Oh. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So um, I thought today I would show you through a few of my uh, spring style essentials. So things that I've been, oh sorry I've got an itchy eye again. The perils of being a contact lens wearer. Anyway, as I was saying, I thought I would show you a few things I'm really liking at the moment and that I have been wearing so far and probably will continue to be wearing a lot through spring. So this would be my number one style essential. I mean, it's nothing new, a floaty floral top in spring. You know that film that says, florals for spring, groundbreaking. Devil's Wear Prada. Devil Wears Prada. I actually thought it was one of those boring films I've ever seen, but um, I see everyone always referencing that quote. But it is true, florals are always everywhere in springtime, but you know, they're there for a reason, and I really like this top. It's got these gorgeous um, floaty sleeves, and it's got this nice tie detail there, if you can see. Cinches in at the waist. So this would be number one, and kind of a cheat category I'm putting it in with would be kind of bright tops in general. So whether it's floral, striped, or polka dotty, um, I'm always a fan of pattern no matter what time of year, really. But I thought this striped top from Bershka again. I thought it was a really kind of fun way of doing the Breton stripe. They're obviously, uh, you have the chunkier cornflower blue stripe and then the thinner tan yellow, white and black ones. And yeah, I really like this. I think it looked really cute, um, you know, with dungarees and things like that. And then uh, polka dots, again, everywhere in the shops at the minute, but for good reason, because they're really cute. And this top here has got these lovely floaty sleeves. So category one would be, in general, floaty sleeved or striped or polka dotted or floral tops. And uh, this is the first indication of when you can see how indecisive I am. Okay, so number two is my basket bag. And I've worn this so much recently, and they actually were everywhere last year. Uh, Zara had on identical, and I um, I nearly said hummed and hoed then. That's not the expression, is it? Ummed and ard, that's the badger. I ummed and ard about it for ages, and then it sold out before I ever bought one, and I was really gutted. So this year, this was in like February, I saw this in Primark, and it was 10 euros, whereas in Zara it was 25 euros. So it was still like really cold at the time, but I snapped it up knowing I'd want it for later in the year. And here is she. Um, she has, she has, it has, uh, loads of room actually, and this really nice kind of drawstring pocket, which is great because on the Metro, you know, you don't want anybody's wandering hands going inside your bag, uh, stealing all your stuff. So yeah, I think it looks really cute with t-shirt, jeans, shorts, dresses, anything really, and it makes me feel a little bit Little House on the Prairie, but I mean, isn't that what everyone wants to feel, no? Okay, so number three would be, I don't know about you, but... When it gets to this time of year, I'm kind of so fed up of wearing jeans all throughout autumn and winter that I kind of want to mix it up a little bit, but I'm still a big fan of denim. So instead of having just jeans with everything, um, I really like wearing my dungaree. Um, I don't know if it's just dungarees if they're shorts or if you can say these are dungarees too or is this a dungaree dress, I'm not really sure, but you get the idea, and this is from H&M, their divided section, and I actually bought it in the sale last year, and I was surprised it went into the sale because it's such a kind of, um, I don't know, like a staple piece really, they don't normally go down in the sale as much, but it's really cute, and um, yeah, I'll put in a few pictures on how I normally wear this, but I really like it because you get, you know, the same look of denim without it being just like skinny jeans all the time. And on a related note to not wanting to always be in jeans, um, these are some of my favourite trousers ever, they're from Zara and I actually styled them in my um, Shop Your Wardrobe Winter to Spring style video, um, I can't remember what I called it now even though it was only yesterday so 10 out of 10 for memory there Orla, but, um, but yeah they're these monochrome check print trousers and what I really like about these is they go with as many things as jeans would do but they're not jeans so um, I get a lot of wear out of these, especially with like, um, I don't know, a thin knit jumper or with a nice top. Probably not something patterned, I mean you could go for that if you wanted, but in general I like to keep it simple and let these do the talking. I just had a vision of these then starting to talk and growing a mouth and that would be a bit disconcerting on, uh, on a Monday morning, wouldn't it? So yeah, keep to yourself trousers. Uh, but yeah, these are number four. And then finally, last but not least, number five is this gorgeous white lace skirt. Um, so, on the days where it's a little bit warmer um, and you fancy wearing, I don't know, like, I'd wear that with this top. 
um, or a statement t-shirt or again a thin knit jumper I really like how this skirt looks and I've had this literally for about seven years maybe a bit more and it was from H&M and I bought it when I lived in China so so every time I look at it it reminds me of like when I bought it I don't know if anyone else gets this but you have a kind of flash bulb memory about when you bought an item and you can remember where you were when you bought it is that just me let me know in the comments below but I really like this skirt and yeah I really like how it looks with my chunky ankle boots and then like a slouchy jumper or like a slogan t-shirt or something a bit more kind of boxy on top and then this really feminine skirt I like the contrast but yeah, I'll be getting a lot of wear out of this this spring. And so that's everything, and I'm looking at the timer, and this is only taking me eight and a half minutes, whereas normally at this point I realise I've been talking for the best part of 25 or 30 minutes, so um, I guess this one will be short and sweet. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. What are your spring style essentials? Sorry, I've just been realising I've been sat on this, which um, was uh, not ideal. Uh, no doubt this will be, you know... You know, not a great top for eating soup. And this is where the kind of extra footage ends up coming in. And no wonder I talk for so long. But anyway, enough waffling. Let me know in the comments below what your uh, favourite things are at the moment. What are you loving? Um, which of these were your favourite? Do you have anything similar? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to come over onto Instagram and follow me, I'll leave my handle here now. Um, I post my daily outfits, what I'm doing, uh, life in Madrid, because I live here in Spain. And yeah, just... Most of the time pictures are pancakes on my stories, so if you're a lover of pancakes, make sure you go and give it a look. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!